Let's do a little. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is nandi this week i'm going to be recording a weekly vlog for you guys i've kind of been like holding off on the nursing content because i wanted one for you guys to like meet like fun nandi before you meet like more serious nandi you know I feel like I'm like an onion, you know, there's just so many layers to me. But anyway, <laughs> that's one. And two, um, it's just been a very busy semester and we're only like in month two, two and a half, I guess you can say, but it's just been very hectic and I've really been trying to like, I guess, find a balance with everything and try to like really have a good concrete schedule to like be able to show you guys but the reality is I just feel like every week is going to be hectic and I simply just do the best that I can so I'm going to just take you guys along with me this week you'll see my day-to-day -day typical activities what I do for the most part Mondays Thursdays and Fridays you guys will see I attend clinical and that's usually for 10 to 11 hours per shift and then Tuesdays for me is usually like school day like catch up on schoolwork day type of thing because I have classes all day on Wednesdays so that's pretty much like a typical schedule for me today however is Sunday it is currently 1 50 p.m. Excuse my appearance. I did go to the gym this morning. I go to Orange Theory classes if you know what that is. If not, look it up on YouTube real quick. But they're really, really fun. So I did that this morning. And now, since it's Sunday, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how I prep for my week. So a little bit of what I do and what I insert into my planner. And so you guys will see all of that on top of like how I stay organized and just you'll see everything okay i'm gonna do my best to keep up and show you guys everything that i can so right now i am actually trying to upload a video for you guys i can show you that it's taking forever but yeah i'm really trying to process this new york vlog for you guys but it's taking so long and yeah now i'm about to start planning so as i plan i'm drinking some coffee out of my black nurses matter mug if you want to shop my merch the link will be down below in the description she's so cute so i'm just drinking my coffee looking at this thing be on 99 forever which is annoying and yeah but let's get into planning and then we'll probably try to do some homework okay so let me show you guys my calendar my school uses canvas so i pretty much go into this calendar because the calendar consists of all of my assignments that are due for each class like they're all already in here for each week so anything that you know are in different colors are pretty much like for my classes and then every color represents a different class and then i inserted my own color which is like a pink color so anything in pink i put in myself and um, those may just be some things that my professors didn't necessarily put in there but we may have do or just represent some personal things that I just don't want to forget that I try to take things week by week I use sticky notes and I pretty much write down all of my assignments that I may have due for the week on the sticky notes and then it's just like creating a list I just cross out everything as I go so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I just stick the sticky notes in my planner for that week so I can keep track like okay you know I have this quiz due Wednesday or I have clinical Monday, Thursday, Friday. So that's pretty much how I take it week by week. So you guys are about to watch me just make my little posty note. I say posty note, posted notes. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're going to see me um, write everything out on posted notes. 
And then as we go on day by day and as I complete my assignments, I just cross them off. So let's go ahead and do that. all right so step one complete as you see i wrote down all my assignments for the week and then in parentheses i put when the assignment is due so you see i have a quiz and then in parentheses i put sunday because that quiz is due on sunday so that is the first thing i do as far as planning then in my planner for the week i go ahead and i put like usually on the bottom lines like i did here like anything that's important that I want to remember or any appointments. So usually for me, um, if it's not like any type of doctor appointment or something like that, I'll go ahead and fill in when I want to go to Orange Theory for the week, which is I usually go twice a week. So I usually will put that in here. And then anything else that's important that I don't want to forget or needs to be done that specific day. And I also write in the days that I'm attending clinical. So I'm about to go ahead and fill in everything that needs to be done for the week. So let's do that. And I love the Orange Theory app because you can literally just go in there and select the time of the class that you want to attend. And then it just pops up here. So both Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to try to go at 545. And of course, sometimes things don't always go as planned, but... I'm gonna aim to go both of these days. So I'm gonna transfer this into my planner as well. briefly so that's usually what I do and then sometimes depending upon how I'm feeling slash how stressed I am I'll usually like maybe Monday or Tuesday go in and actually break up 
these assignments that I have due and put like per day what I want to accomplish and then I'll usually stick by that as well so I can actually show you this is an example from like last week as you can see and then I break up my assignments day by day as you see there and then if it's something that I didn't do like I'll put an X by it if it's something I completed I'll color in the little circle or square and that's pretty much what I do that is what I do week by week guys so we're gonna do the same for this week but I am gonna go ahead and start on some homework assignments So I'm just showing you some behind the scenes stuff since I have the time to do so. So this is how I keep track of all of my clinical hours. I just made this in Excel and then I just literally put in the amount of hours per shift because we're responsible for keeping track of things ourselves. So I write everything on here and then we have a student account that we have to transfer all this information to. So we transfer the amount of hours that we spend and then we also transfer information regarding the patients that we see and some information about them. So I will show you that. So I have things up here. We we'll use this Typhon, which is sort of like a student charting system. I guess that's the best way to explain it. So every single patient that I see, I have to insert all this information about them. So each individual patient, I insert the information here on my little Typhon account. So I'm a little behind because I didn't do my patients from last week, which were two days last week. I only went Monday and Thursday. So you're about to watch me insert information for a little bit regarding those patients that I saw. And then I literally transfer information based upon things that I write in clinical. So I'll show you that real quick. So like this is a good example. I pretty much write notes all about my patients on these little worksheets. I have a whole bunch of them. So I literally have a worksheet like per patient. And I'm gonna insert the information that's needed into my student Typhon account, my little charting system for all of these patients. And it was two days, so I have like two different packets, like this packet and then the one from the 10th, which is like underneath here. So Let's get to it, guys. So it's currently 4.30. I finished putting all of my patients in the little student charting system. So now I'm eating a little snack. It's just apple and peanut butter. It's one of my favorites. And I need to go ahead and send some emails. And I need to um, do some work for one of the organizations that I'm in. So I'm serving as treasurer for my school's graduate nursing council. So I'm pretty much over a lot of the other nursing cohorts for my school, like over their um, funds and things like that. And I need to reach out to people to make sure they know to go ahead and submit their budgets for this year. So. I'm going to be working on that. And then after that, honestly, that would probably be it for me for today. Tomorrow I have clinical. I usually wake up around 6 for that. And yeah, I need to get mentally prepared for the week. So after this, I'm probably going to call it a day in regards to work. Hopefully my video can finish uploading so I can go ahead and make that public tonight for you guys. If not, then... It'll be made public by tomorrow. So 
I will check in with you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early. <laughs>morning guys it is february 14th it is valentine's day it's 7 36 a.m i just made it to my clinical site i stopped by starbucks i got a little classic oatmeal and then i got a tall brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso obviously i'm obsessed with oat milk as you guys know at this point so yeah i'm literally sitting here just to give you guys a little background i am in my master's portion to become a nurse practitioner my specialty is pediatrics my clinical sites like all throughout my master's will all be pediatric offices i'm also doing primary care that's very important to say also we are required to get a certain amount of clinical hours each semester this semester is 180 hours and it differs per specialty so this is just for my like pediatric primary care specialty at my school these are our hours so this semester we have to get 180 hours and it just gets worse next semester we have to do 240 hours and then our last semester we have to do 300 hours so this is an accelerated program i'll be done by the end of this year december is four semesters total i'm in my second semester a graduation december 2022 I cannot wait okay but usually it depends like you make your schedule and everything depending upon your preceptor similar to like TV you know you kind of do what they tell you to do you stay for however long they tell you to stay your life is out of your hands <laughs> but my preceptor she's cool she usually makes us do like 10 to 11 hours so I'll probably be done today I don't know, probably like six o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock if she feeling frisky, I don't know. But that's that's about it guys. So I'm just chilling here, about to caffeine up. Hopefully the day goes by quickly. I really pray that it does because yeah, I just want it to go by quick. <laughs> but then once I get off my shift, I usually, if I have energy, because not everybody's shifts are like 10 to 11 hours. A lot of people in my specialty, there's a like eight hours. It just so happens that my preceptor, she's having us do like tens, like tens and 11 shifts. But yeah, so if I have the energy, usually when I go home, I'll try to do some homework or watch some lectures or something like that. So I may try to do that later on. If I don't have the energy, then baby, I'm gonna eat, shower, and lay down, okay? Because <laughs> that's just that's just life. Like you gotta take care of you, and yeah. But luckily, the only benefit of doing like the 10 and 11 hour shifts is the fact that I'll be done quicker than like a lot of the other people because they're only doing like eight hours. So that's the benefit and then I also do it three times a week which a lot of other people they only go maybe twice or once a week. We require to get 180 hours. I should be done like first week of March at this rate. Um, so that's a blessing. So that'll give me like the end of the semester to do pretty much nothing during the week other than my schoolwork, which we love that because it's definitely giving, you know, we got to bring up some grades at the end. That's what it's looking like. But yeah guys i just want to come on here and talk to you if i have some time i'll talk to you during my lunch break which usually is like maybe at like one i would say she usually lets us go to eat at like one which is really like late comparison to like well it's not really late late but i feel like usually you would probably go like 12 ish but yeah if i don't talk to you guys during my lunch break i'll talk to you when i get off of my shift and yeah Let's go have a good day.
All right, guys, it is the next day. It's Tuesday, February 15th. I literally, last night, I came home and I laid down, okay? Yesterday was kind of a rough day for me, honestly, or at least the night portion. <sighs> but anyway, new day. I am about to do homework because I have classes all day tomorrow, so I need to like prep for classes. I'm gonna do homework later on. I'm going to an Orange Theory class. Um, that's like my biggest stress reliever, honestly. So I'm gonna go work out and that's pretty much all I'm doing today. And then it's classes all day tomorrow. So I'm about to put this hair up and let's get to work. <laughs> break now it is 308 I'm actually eating some leftover hibachi and watching some YouTube little study break and then I gotta get back to it but let me show you guys some leftover hibachi and and I'm watching life as kiki on youtube i love her she's also in atlanta so yeah gonna finish up my lunch and get back to work about to go to the gym guys i can't wait till it gets warm i'm tired of all these layers but yeah let's go have a good workout I'm back home. If you're familiar with Orange Theory, they have an app and they also email you at the end of your workout. So as you guys see, I burned 626 calories. I got 28 splat points. It shows you my average heart rate and then the amount of steps that I took. It was a great workout. I am about to do a little bit of work and then go to bed. We have classes early in the morning, so I'll see you guys then. Good morning guys, it is the next day. It's Wednesday, February 16th, and it is 9.35 a.m. So my first class on Wednesday is at 10 a.m. So I am just getting organized for class now. I have, since last semester, become sort of like a paperless student. Um, I pretty much use my iPad for all of my classes, PowerPoints, notes, and things like that. So usually on Wednesday mornings, I look into Canvas, which is like our student portal. I collect all of the PowerPoints and things I'm going to be using for class. And right beforehand, I put all that information into my iPad. So I actually have been using Good Notes. So I'll show you guys that. So I have the little Good Notes app here, my iPad. So I click that. Oops, we was already in a class. So this was my farm class. And I like good notes because it's like super, super, super organized. So as you see here, I have my second semester, which I'm in, and then my first semester, which was last semester. But everything for this semester is in this folder. And then in there, I have all of my classes. They all have their own folder. So 
there's that. So I'm going to start my first class is Advanced Peds Practice. And then once you click that folder, it goes into even more folders and um, a notebook as well. So I'll usually put like if we have any articles, I'll put them in there and then all my PowerPoint slides are in here. So we can click that and then week by week, you see I have module two, three, four, five, and this is week six for us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my PowerPoint in this class and in my other class. I usually have two classes on Wednesdays, but they're long. So I usually don't get done with classes till around 3 p.m. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish organizing everything for classes and then I'll check back in with you guys. related to the nose, throat, and mouth. Um, so we're going to start with looking at nose and sinuses. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is a condition called epistaxis. This is just a nose bleed. Um, so it's bleeding that occurs uh, from the nostril, nasal cavity, and it can all the way, go all the way back here to the nasopharynx as well. So um, sometimes you'll have, not very common in children, but posterior bleeds that may be more back here in the back of the nose, um, back a little bit closer to the pharynx. Um, any pain or fever or what kind of medications are they on? Certain medications um, might can cause um, bleeding episodes. I also want to ask about personal and family history. Um, any sort of bleeding problems or bleeding disorders. They may not always know the name. If it's a more distant relative, um, but it's important to ask about that as well. So my first class just ended. So that class is supposed to be from 10 to 11.50, but my teacher went over per use. Um, it's 11.59. My next class is at one o'clock. I am about to buy some new figs and um, answer some emails during this hour break. And then we'll log into our next class at one o'clock. Um, looks at you or moves around in order to get your attention. That's also new. And then um, shows several facial expressions like happy, sad, angry, surprised. These, all of these skills will, um, if they haven't achieved them, by these current milestones, then we want to start looking at um, uh, possible uh, considerations of early autism or early behavioral issues or early um, learning disabilities or, or early intellectual or social interaction disability. Guys, I really should be paying attention in this class, but let me tell you something. So I applied last week i think it was last week or two weeks ago to become a student ambassador for my school and we had to do like a whole big group interview for it and they just emailed me nandi thank you so much for participating in ambassador interviews it was great getting to know you a little better based on your application and interview i would like to inform you that you've been accepted into the student ambassador program so super super exciting pretty much like the student ambassadors for the school they like they'll do takeovers on the school's instagram page and they get to like pretty much also attend different events, serve on panels for the school. I was waiting on that email all day because I just knew they were announcing it today. So yay. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Do a little. <laughs> all right, let me get back to class because I don't know what she's talking about. This is actually a very good representation of my life because class going on. 
Well, we on break now. They only give us like five minutes. I'm eating vegan chicken nuggets. <laughs> I'm not even vegan. <sighs> but, it's just 50 things happening at the same time. It's giving extreme multitasker, and that's literally me these days, so. But anyway, let me tell you guys why I'm on this little break. So, after class, I have to, um, what time we get out this class? It's supposed to be 2.50. She'll probably keep us till 3. So, after class, I have, um... A doctor's appointment is actually a telehealth appointment via zoom or whatever to try to get some medicine because I feel like I have really bad acid reflux I don't know how it happened but it, it definitely happened so I just give me some meds please then I'll probably do some homework for an hour then I'm going to I keep looking back because my planners over here so I'm just like but afterwards, after my DOS appointment, I'm going to do homework. After homework, I'm going to go to Orange Theory to the gym at 545. And yeah, I definitely have a lot of homework. You probably shouldn't be going to the gym. But the gym is honestly like the only stress reliever I have. My main one is good for my mental, honestly. So I'm going to put myself first and go to the gym. And then after the gym... I'll probably continue to do homework until bed and then clinical tomorrow. I'm only talking fast and updating you guys because I may not have time to talk to you for real, for real until probably later tonight. So yeah, that's the plan for today, guys. So I'll check in with you a little bit later. So I just got out of my telehealth appointment. Things went great. Um, yeah, hopefully... This whole acid reflux thing can be resolved because, you know, it can definitely turn into something more serious, which we do not want. But hopefully the medications help because that heartburn, if you have ever had acid reflux, that heartburn will take you out. Okay, it will take you out. And I just <laughs> I need help. <laughs> but anyway, guys. I'm about to try to tap into some homework for the next hour and then we're gonna get dressed go to the gym and have a good workout so that's what I'm about to do guys I will talk to you in a little bit it's not a game. It's a red quick update on the room if you watch my room transformation video remember I said I was playing a second bulletin board up there so that's what this looks like also my comforter came in so nice white comforter and then I added this little accent pillow as a nice little touch to the room so yeah, remember when I said I was gonna do homework tonight? Um, yeah, I'm exhausted. It is 8.30 and it's not happening. I have a good solid 11 hour shift tomorrow, so I'm about to finish this salad and go to bed. It's not a game, it's a red skin. All 
right guys so it is thursday february 17th i am here in my little clinical parking lot so my precept actually has an office in two different locations so on monday i was someplace and then thursdays and fridays i go to the other location so i'm just sitting here drinking my little starbucks got a double espresso shot because your girl needs it and yeah thursdays is usually my preceptor's late day so we usually stay with her for like 11 hours i'm gonna pray that we only stay for a good solid 10 because baby i'm ready to lay down already and the day has not even started but <sighs> you know we just gotta make it to march we just gotta make it to march but yeah guys i'll check in with you a little bit later also random but i really been enjoying this podcast lately it's called manifest daily it's on spotify someone else told me about it but yeah definitely good vibes check it out guys so we can get the chance oh you guys so i got off of clinical my wish came true i got off at six i came home and my mom got me a nice card I love that lady. That's my ride or die. She know I be going through it. So I just thought that was sweet. But I'm about to do homework probably for the next two or three hours and eat at the same time and multitask. And yep, back to clinical tomorrow. the perfume the makeup on his shirt you don't believe his stories you know that there are lines bad as you are you stick around and i just don't know why if i was your man baby you never worry about what i do i'd be coming home back to you every night doing you right you're the type of woman serve a good thing miss the diamond <laughs> I literally look how I feel I am so tired like that's the only thing doing these long shifts by Friday psh, I'm beat my feet hurt so bad like I told you guys how I needed 180 hours by the end of my shift today I'll have like 124 so I just devoured my lunch and yeah she let us out early yesterday at six so i feel like today she's not gonna let us go like probably till seven seven thirty probably so oh, gosh i just want to lay down so badly but yeah guys i have my little coffee here about to drink some more caffeine so i can get through the rest of this shift I'm just looking up because there's cars and stuff around me, but I will talk to you guys later. I'll let you know what time I get off. Pray for your girl. Pray for your girl. All right, guys, I'm just getting home. My clock is in military time, but it is 7.16. I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here. I'm just about to shower, eat, do homework. I'm gonna be doing homework this whole weekend too, so. And then we're gonna start fresh next week. Same deal, same scenario, same routine. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.